Today we're going to talk about two-child travel strollers, which are unfortunately one of the most inherently weak types of stroller out there, but which also can be necessary to consider getting under certain conditions, such as for single parents traveling with two children, for holiday plans that involve a lot of situations where you need to carry your stroller folded or pack it into a smaller space, as with train travel or crowded buses and trams, for example, or if you're trying to negotiate a lot of luggage. And today then, we're going to look at a few examples from three different design approaches, weighing their differences against each other in relation to price, durability, child comfort, and ease of use within the context of travel. And first off then, is the cheapest and oldest design, side-by-side -side umbrella models, still found on the market with strollers like the McLaren Twin Techno and the Upper Baby G-Link 2. The advantage of this design is primarily its low price, as well as the design's simplicity, where such models tend not to have internal components that can break or fall out of alignment. Side-by-side -side umbrella strollers do, however, tend to loosen and get rickety quite quickly though, a result of their ability to fold horizontally in addition to vertically, which greatly impacts both how they feel to drive, as well as often making them frustrating to fold. And they also generally offer less in terms of child comfort in comparison to more modern designs, as well as more importantly in my opinion, are usually quite frustrating to steer, especially after they wear down a bit, as a result of the almost ubiquitous use of dual front wheels with such models. If you are, however, interested in getting a side-by-side -side umbrella model and looking at the Twin Techno and the G-Link 2 specifically, then my vote goes with the G-Link, as even though that third set of dual wheels adds structural strength, it makes the Techno even more fiddly to steer than models with only two sets. And looking at side-by-side -side umbrella models in general then, my basic opinion is that they're only worth considering if price is the absolute primary factor in your purchasing decision, while otherwise, the negatives created by their looser structure and the poor maneuvering of their dual wheels makes them not really worth getting. Second up is the very new trend put out quite recently by a few manufacturers of creating an inline train of two connectable Ultra Compacts, as seen with the Baby Zen Yo-Yo Connect and the Phil and Ted's Go Double. This setup is a bit more resilient to loosening than with side-by-side -side umbrella models, tends to have somewhat more comfortable seats, has the unique ability to pass as cabin luggage, albeit in multiple pieces, and is a bit better to steer, though more fiddly to tip, as one must do when negotiating curbs, since both handles must be lifted in succession, like you're driving a column of shopping carts. Looking at these two models in particular, the Yo-Yo is a better stroller as a single-child ultra-compact, but the high price of the Connect as an accessory that can't be used as a separate stroller makes it not worth the price in my opinion. While with the Go, even though you can use a secondary, connectable model on its own, the basic design of the Go in general is on the weak side structurally, definitely reflective of the model's budget level price versus the wider market. And my general opinion on the whole concept then, at least with these two models, is that for a subpar driving experience, the price is simply too high. And frankly, if you do want two better quality singular ultra compacts that you can connect together, then my personal preference would be to go for third party adapters with which you can connect a variety of different brands together as pairs. And last up then are side by side ultra compacts, two child models generally built from pre-existing single child designs that have been widened to add an extra seat, and where two of the top models in my opinion are the Baby Jogger City Tour 2 Double and the Mountain Buggy Nano Duo. Strollers of this sort are cheaper than inline connectable ultra compacts, and while they're more complex mechanically than side-by-side -side umbrella models, meaning more potential for problems with their internal components, they tend to hold up a bit better over time, not loosening quite as quickly. And they also tend to both have more comfortable seats than umbrella models and be quicker and easier to both fold and to drive around than either two-child umbrella models or the connectable inline designs of the Yo-Yo Connect or the Go Double. The Tour 2 Double is a bit better than the Nano Duo in my opinion, with a somewhat smaller folded size, having slightly longer and better proportioned seats, slightly larger wheels, being a tad narrower overall, which is important when thinking about fitting through doorways, and also being a bit more robust and simpler in its mechanisms. The Nano Duo, on the other hand, has somewhat wider seats, is a smidge lighter, and while again, between these two I do prefer the Tour, the Nano Duo is still a pretty strong option in comparison to a lot of other two-seat travel models on the wider market. And, as a class then, side-by-side -side ultra-compacts are the design that I feel will best fit most parents, due to being pretty reasonably priced, having decent seats, and most importantly, being the easiest to use in my experience, both in terms of driving and folding, which is probably the top factor when looking at making travel as easy as possible with two children. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, or even hit the donate button if you're so inclined, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.